development and maturation events in seed development the important events involved in seed development and maturation include pollination fertilization development of fertilized ovule by cell division accumulation of reserve food material dehydration flower reproductive organ bearing pistil stamen sepals and petals antrician male part of a flower consisting of anther sac anthers and pollen grains gynecium female part of a flower consisting of ovary style and stigma bisexual or hermaphrodite flower a flower with both functional male and female organs dicogamy male or female mature slightly at different times which favors cross pollination protandry male matures first totogyny female matures first unisexual flowers imperfect flowers have either male or female part when both types of flowers occur in same plant is called monoecious if they occur in different plant is called dioecious self pollination pollen grains are transferred from an anther to the stigma of the same flower autogamy cross pollination pollen grains are transferred to the stigma of another flower allogamy self pollination chasmogamous flowers do not open before pollination clastogamous flowers do not open at all cross pollination unisexual flowers monoecious dioecious bisexual flowers self sterility self incompatibility dicogamy hercogamy heterostyle classification of crops based on pollination behavior self pollinated paddy wheat oats barley green gram black gram bengal gram cowpea groundnut soybean tomato cluster bean peas often cross pollinated sorghum red gram cotton sesame brinjal chilli bindi lima bean where they may be 10 to 40% cross pollinated cross pollinated maize pearl millet castor sunflower mustard cucumber cool crops radish turnip carrot onion fertilization ovules are developed in the female gametophyte and pollen in the male gametophyte fertilization always takes place in female gametophyte therefore pollen must transfer from male to female by pollen vector pollen vector abiotic wind anemophile water hydrophile biotic insects entomophile bats caryopetrophile pollen vectors organs development and fertilization megasporogenesis megagametogenesis microsporogenesis microgametogenesis fertilization megasporogenesis seeds of angiosperm originate from meristematic tissue of the ovary wall called ovule primordia within the nucleus one cell known as archeosporial cell develops a special characteristic that dis- distinguishes it from the adjacent cells it develops larger than the surrounding cells having a large nucleus and denser cytoplasm called megaspore mother cell megaspore mother cell undergoes a meiotic division giving rise to four megaspores each containing a haploid chromosome set among the four cells one megaspore survived to give rise to an embryo sac whereas other three aborts development of functional megaspore from megaspore mother cell is called megasporogenesis
megasporogenesis megagametogenesis the nucleus within the functional megaspore undergoes three successive division to form eight nuclei eight nuclei are arranged as three antipodal cells at the chalice end two central polar nuclei one egg cell with two synergids at the micropylar end development of eight cell embryo sac from the functional megaspore is called as megagametogenesis angiosperm ovule or seed development microsporogenesis the microspore mother cell present in another tissue undergo a meiotic division to form four haploid functional microspores this is microsporogenesis microgametogenesis from microspore the pollen grains are developed the pollen grain contains two cells one is tube cell and another is generative cell generative cell undergoes a division to form two sperm nuclei fertilization after landing on the stigma the pollen grain germinates and pollen tubes grow through the style after transferring the style the pollen tube enters embryo sac of the ovule through microphyll double fertilization the embryo sac consists of eight cells the end near the microphyll has the egg apparatus which consists of egg cell and two synergids there are two polar nuclei in the center and chalazal end has three antipodal cells in angiosperms fertilization involves the participation of two male nuclei one fuses with the egg nucleus to form the diploid zygote and the other with two polar nuclei to produce a triploid nucleus which is the primary endosperm nucleus this process is called double fertilization or triple fusion seed development following fertilization the newly formed cells the zygote and endosperm start dividing the zygote produces a row of cells the pro embryo after a few hours or days the pro embryo cell furthest from the microphyll enlarges and divides forming the first cell of the embryo of the cells formed by this division the cell nearest the microphyll gives rise to the roots and associated underground plant parts the other cell give rise to the above ground parts stems leaves and eventually flowers seed coat the integument of the ovule becomes the seed coat of the mature seed normally the nucleus is absorbed and is absent the nucleus may present in some genera as a thin layer called perisperm lying inside the seed coat and supplies food materials to the embryo example nutmeg clove rubber papaya pepper beetroot endosperm three types of endosperm development nuclear where the endosperm nucleus undergoes several divisions prior to cell wall formation cellular in which there is no free nuclear phase hallobial where the free nuclear division is preceded and is followed by cellularization endosperm the endosperm serve as a principal nutritive support for the embryo of many species during both seed development and germination the endosperm normally grows more rapidly than embryo in monocotyledons endosperms usually reach the maximum morphological development at physical maturity and persist to comprise a major part of the seed the dicotyledonous species the endosperm may not develop or may be used up by the developing embryo and comprising none or small part of mature seed embryo first division of the zygote is transverse in dicots and it results in a small apical cell and a large basal cell 
apical cell divides vertically forming two cells and basal cell undergoes a transverse division forming two superimposed cells. These results in a T-shaped four-celled pro-embryo. These two cells divide further resulting in a row of three or four cells forming suspensor. This group divides by oblique periclinal wall forming a set of inner cells and a row of outer cells. The inner cells form the initials of the root apex and the outer cells form the root cap. Embryo The two cells formed as a result of the apical division give divided vertically formed quadrant. Each cell of the quadrant divides transversely and thus an octant containing two tiers of cell formed. The cells of the octet undergo vertical division resulting in a globular pro-embryo. Periclinal division occurs in the peripheral cells of the globular pro-embryo that delimit an outer layer, the dermatogen. The tier 1 gives rise to cotyledon and shoot apex and form hypercotyl radical axis. Seed maturity a few days after fertilization, the first difference becomes apparent between embryos which will have one or two cotyledons. As the seed continues its development, it increases in size and dry weight until growth is completed and germination capability is achieved. This point is generally referred to as physiological maturity of the seed. No further morphological development takes place. Developmental changes Ovule, seed, funicle, stalk, hilum, hilum, mucellus, perisperm, indigumens, seed coat, microphile, microphile, zygote, embryo, polar nuclei, endosperm. Therefore, seed is seed coat plus embryo embryo primary axis plus cotyledons primary axis plumule plus radical seed chromosomes monocot seed dicot seed apomex development of seed without fertilization that is the seed formation occurs without sexual fusion. Parthenocarpy Development of fruit without fertilization. Today we are going to